Daggers. Why? What's the matter with the wolf? Well, Trigger says he's dead. I'm going to find out. You guys hightail to the hideout. We'll meet you there. Come on. I get the fight is over for sure. They've all run away. Why don't you stick your hat up and find out? Why don't you stick your own hat up? My hat is a good hat. One more hole in mine and fall apart. What's the difference? What's the difference? Gringo, Carter, Sandia, my hat is a good hat. You know, I look like yours with a block hat. Are you going to stick your hat up or not? If anybody will stick their hat up, you're going to stick their hat up yourself. We'll see about that. Oh, we'll see about for Kay, Miss Combera, Miss Combera, where you're going to do it. Oh, you're going to do it. Oh, you're going to do it. Oh, you're going to do it. Well, now the two hats they have went. Yeah, but they... <laughs> Where's Jim? He just went up on the hill to pull the wolf's fangs. And from the looks of things, he's doing all right. Well, I'm worried about him. You're worried? Jim told me just before he left here, if I ever get back to here... Now, I'll look, have... Tombstone, this is no time for quibbling. Hey, what's quibbling? Quibbling? I don't know. Come on, let's get out of here. As near as I can figure it out, that ought to hit the water right about in there. Yeah, hold him. I'll give a look. Well, Jim, where in the world have you been? It's like you sneaked off to take a bath with your clothes on. Get the wolf. You don't have to worry about him, but his gang may come back. We better get out of here. You can't move that last wagon. The axle's busted. All right, leave it here. We'll send out a new one from town. I think you told me you were a goner. Not yet. What happened to Benton? Got away. I don't hear any shooting. Oh, there were too many of them. We had to quit. Where are the rest of the boys? I told them to meet us at the hideout. Getting back to the wolf, you can't make me believe he cashed in his chips without me seeing it. Oh, you won't take my word for it, eh? Nope, I got a hunch. Well, I'll give you a ten to one your hunch is wrong. I'll just take 40 bucks of that. It's a bet. 
Left wing? Yeah. What do you mean, 40 buckets? <laughs> told me something I think you ought to hear. What's happening? I think you're getting a double cross. Why? It's about Kirby. Trigger heard Kirby tell Davis that they're cutting you out. Looks like your 50-50 deal is off. Is that right, Trigger? Every word of it. Good work, Butch. I won't forget this. Well, that's the way Kirby wants it, is it? That's the way he'll get it. I just want to tell you I'm calling a new game. From now on, I'm playing a lone hand. What do you mean, Will? I'm declaring Kirby and Davis out. What are you aiming to do? I'll tell you in a minute. Now, anybody who don't want to follow my lead is welcome to cut out right now. Well, I'd like to know what stakes we're playing for. All right, the stakes are high, and the payoff to you men will be plenty. That's good enough for me. All right, we'll join All right. now here's the play. Run like Benton, get that over into Panama. Yeah, but we've got to hurry. I'm doing the talking. When he gets into the smother, we take it over. Smother it all. Yeah, but how about that money that Davis has got in the bank? We're taking over the bank, too. Anything else in town that's worth taking over. Uh, that's good enough. Where do we die, Pronto? What you high tailor for Saw Creek? Get as many men as Slate can round up. Judge, high tailor for Badwater Wells. We'll meet at Pyramid Rocks. Right there, I want you to look over the horse. Oh, the horse is drinking. Come on, Come on, Mac. Hello, Mr. Wilson. How do you do, Miss Morton? Well, is the stuff in yet? You bet. Three loads of high grade right outside the door, and the fourth will be in as soon as we get an axle. The assayer's report will be ready in about an hour. Fine. Send it over to the bank. We'll be there. Bye. Now that the wolf is finished, everything is chili con carne, eh? Now we're going to celebrate. How are you going to celebrate? Well, I'm going to buy myself a nice new sombrero, some new clothes, and then I will be a very pretty fellow. You know, it's too bad you can't be a pretty fellow, too, no? Well, if I want to doll myself up in all them fancy duds, I'd make you look like a plug peso. <laughs> you were telling me. All the clothes in the world, he can't make you a pretty fellow with those face. Well, the only way I can celebrate is to get drunk. That's right. You don't have to have a pretty face to get drunk. Mm -hmm. Well, ah, you chili picker. Well, let's win. Come on, get some pussy and some tequila. I know the place in the corner is pretty good for me. Come in. Hello, Richards. Are you bringing good news? So good, I'd like to have a hunk of that all myself, Judge. I don't blame you. Jim, your note to Kirby is as good as paid. Are you sure you have enough gas? More than enough. It's coming in for Purdue. Enough to pay Kirby and finance the operation of the mine. Well, that is good news. Richard, I'll go back to the smeller with you. Right. I'll wait here for you, Jim. All right, sir. One of the men at the smelter told me the ore Benton brought in was worth over $50,000. Do you think the bank has enough money to advance Benton on that ore to pay off my note? Not if I draw up what I've got in there. I'll do the same. We can keep it right here in my safe. Which will give us a chance to close in on Benton. Good morning, Miss Morgan. Good morning. I'll wait for you in your office, Judge. Do you want to see me about that and snow? Don't put it, Kirby. You'll get your money in plenty of time. Well, it isn't only the money, Judge. I'm drawing out all my cash. I'll take care of that. And all the money any of your close friends have in the bank. When? Just as soon as the stage gets in from Purdue. Well, Most of his men rode out of town. Kirby and Davis are taking all the money out of the bank and putting it in Kirby's safe. I got six men from Badwater Wells. They'll meet us in town. Good. Now we're moving in. 
Rusty, you'll take over the bank. Right. Butch and I will have a little talk with Kirby, and we'll all take over the smelter. Come on. Well, Mary, how does it feel to be the owner of a mine? Well, I'll tell you, Judge. It feels like a lot of new hats and a lot of new silk dresses. Do you know what to do? Oh, I wish Uncle Charlie we would enjoy all this. I imagine Chuck Walla would be mighty happy to have you. The wolf is alive. What are you saying? The wolf. He's outside. Mary, Jim's got to overtake that stagecoach before it reaches town. Don't worry. Howdy, Judge. I come to tell you this ain't your bank no more. Drinkhorn, the wolf and his gang are at the bank robbing it. The wolf? Yes, and you've got to stop that Burdue stage before it gets to town to him. There's $100,000 on it. Thanks, Mary. Come on. I can let you in on something worthwhile. Oh, for that sake. What are you doing this for, Wolf? I thought we were partners. I thought we were. Come on. Don't you do it, Kirby. He's bluffing. I am, huh? Yes, you are. <laughs> the gun, Wolf. Sure. Let's have it. Stage from Purdue. It's bringing $100,000 to the bank. Graham, the messenger's in charge. How do you know that? Judge Knox told me. That's fine. The wolf. You're crazy. The wolf's dead. You're crazy. He's alive. He's waiting in time to take over the stage. Take over the stage? Smokey, see if the wagon gets through. Come on, man. Let's win. Take it away from you? The wolf? Well, I heard he was dead. No, well, he's not. What do you think I'd better do? Well, if I were you, I'd grab that dough and pile out of the stage and stay right here. All right. Stage is heading into town. Good. Get a hold of Butch. Tell him to plant the mountain like I told him. All right. Street. 
I know I will get that coyote someday. What do you mean you got him? Yeah, I suppose you think you do the whole thing, eh? Well, I did as much as you did, and I didn't do nothing. Why you always want to tell lies for? Well, I could have got him a long time ago, but I thought I'd let you shoot him, Pancho. That's me, because I always wanted to do the other thing. You know, with me, it's always 50-60. Yeah? Yeah. And Tombstone double crossed us both and got him himself. You know, you ain't such a bad fellow after all. I have seen wars. Yeah? Where? I don't know. But anyhow, let's bury the hammer. Huh? All right, Pancho. Hey, ten cuidado con los dedos. What is you kicking the stupid number 20? Me cabe la mano. Come on, let's win. Oh, you're not a cop. You're a No more guns. I'm going to be a gentleman. And I'm going up in the world. I'm going up in the world. 